Hi, I'm going to show how Vector Tiles makes analysis and maps buttery smooth in 8.0. To do this, I'm going to open this dashboard that has some rich polygon data to demonstrate the features. On the left, we have the clustering, and on the right, we have the 10,000 record approach from 7x. These both show different strengths and weaknesses. On the left, we can see the full shape of the data, but we have no idea what the polygons look like. And on the right, we can see the polygons, but we have no idea what's happening up here where there's actually data. So in ADO, we have a new tool that makes this a lot better and blends the best of both worlds. If I edit a map like the one on the left, and I come in and edit this layer, I have this new scaling option called Use Vector Tiles. And when I do this, it, the system's gonna dynamically generate vector tiles for my data and multiple zoom levels. Coming back out here to show the difference, I'm gonna rename this panel on the left to Vector Tile Approach. And already we can see the data is generating. We're able to see a much richer, denser display of information as it loads. And we can see this yellow dashed line to represent partial data. On the right, we can see we finally loaded. Let's look at some of the interactions you get when you're working with vector tiles. So to do that, I'm gonna zoom in on the right-hand side to a little bit of a dense area. On the left, I'm gonna zoom into a similar area. With vector tiles, the shapes are able to scale up effortlessly as you zoom. It's buttery smooth. As the new vector layers come in, they're able to fill in that data and pop in with more resolution. But as you move around the map, you don't lose any data. You just get higher resolution as you go. And if you change the resolution by zooming in at any time, it's gonna take what's there, move it in, and then replace it with a higher resolution tile once you cross the arbitrary thresholds of zoom. On the right, everything is great until you hit the boundary of your data. And then the system has to fetch those extra records that represent that boundary. So you have to wait. And as a user, you're really not sure what you're waiting for. Uh, you're not sure what you're gonna find. This is really not a great user experience because it leaves you to guess and check. This is one of the great tools that's available in 8.0. And for your polygon data, I would turn it on for almost every layer. We're so confident about it in 8.1, it's the default for all new polygon layers. One other cool thing you can do on a dashboard that has things like metrics and visualizations is you can turn on this extra feature that is enabled by map extent to turn any spatial analysis into one that influences your non-spatial data and vice versa. And with vector tiles, this makes navigating around your data lightning fast because we're generating them on the fly and then you have a very smooth interaction experience to work with that data. We really think you're gonna like this feature and we look forward to seeing the maps and dashboards you create in ADO.